All right, we've done the truck all the way back to the tailgate. And what we've done here is we've taken the tailgate off the truck and just laid it here on some saw horses. You don't have to do this. You can do it. You can do the tailgate while it's sitting on the truck. But as easy as it is to take a tailgate off a pickup truck, we just took it off real quick and laid it on these saw horses. I've got my piece cut. It's going to have a seam right down the middle where the handle is. So we've cut this piece for half of it. There's our handle. And then we'll have the other side over here. And basically all we do is just after you get your piece cut, just pull the backing off and lay it on just like we've done our other pieces. We've got a small indentation here on the tailgate, so we're going to do the same things we did on the body. Pull the material loose from the, from the truck, and then take your squeegee and make sure you push it straight down into that groove while you hold it up. Shove it down into that groove real good, all the way across that seam. All right, now that we have the side all done, we're going to come up and do the pillars between the windows. Basically, you just cut yourself out some smaller pieces. Make sure the patterns still run in the same direction and lay those pieces up on the side. And basically, it's a pretty, pretty simple deal because you're working with such a small piece. And we'll come down here, overlap this bottom piece slightly, and come up here and work yourself around these windows. You can trim these windows out as you go. Main thing is just keep the pattern running the same way. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and do this pillar and then across the top of the doors, I'm gonna use one piece just so it look a little bit nicer. So we're just gonna lay this piece up right here, up this pillar, and then we'll take another piece off of the scrap off the hood and we'll do the top of the doors. And then we'll be ready to do our, uh, the roof up here and we'll be done.
All right, we've got the pillars all done, and we're going to take a piece across the top of the doors. I've just cut a piece out. Once again, we're using scrap pieces that we've cut off. Just make sure that the patterns run in the same direction. And uh, we've, we've cut the uh, edges so they're not straight, just to camouflage that seam. We'll peel this off and stick it across, and then uh, we'll be ready to do the roof up here.